Scott, since you are the ones going to lead this evening's um, uh, the first presentation. Okay. All right. Um, let us all pray. Heavenly Father, as we come to you this afternoon, we want to thank you, Lord, for giving us life. that it will be fruitful, Father God. We pray that learning will take place. We pray, Father God, that the difficulties we're experiencing, Father, will be sorted out, Lord, and that God, Group 1, will be able to make a good presentation. Father, we commit Dr. Mack and all the participants in this live chat to you and those on YouTube. We thank you now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you so very much. Uh, okay, good evening, welcome. group. Yes, good evening, group, um, everybody. Good evening, good everybody. Good evening, Dr. Mack. Okay, it's, um, by my time, it's 8.39, but it's still light outside. And um, it's a very pleasant 52 degrees, very nice. We need a code for that. Um, tonight what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing um, until we get group one is to present this evening. But until we get group one, I know there are some challenges uh, technologically, I'm going to continue with the lecture. Once we get the other participants in, the, in group one, then I will cease and we can uh, hear the presentation. Um, I know we were talking about before, we were looking at several um, uh, factors and I want someone to, rem to, I don't want to repeat myself too much, I would like someone to kind of remind me of where we left off last time. Um, Dr. McRemember, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Um, in regards to the individual project, remember I was asking you about that and you said I should remind you? Yes. I'm trying to find out if, you, I was asking if you were going to send us all cases, individual cases, for us to start our individual project. Because the, the um, outline stated that you will provide us with the cases in order for us to do the project. Um, well, I think I need to make a clarification with that discussion, and thanks for, for alerting me to that. I think for the your individual official project, I think it's best that you get your own project because you, you can seek either a, a child. I'm sorry? I mean your cases, rather. You seek a child or an, a, 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 an a, a adolescent case. What I meant to have said was that um, throughout the classroom presentations and practicing, I'll probably provide you with cases. That should be the clarification. But it's expected that you provide your own case. Okay. So, you need to, so people, students need to provide your own cases, but it should be a child case or an adolescent case for your official projects. Is that is that very clear? Yes, Dr. Mark. All right. Could someone remind me where we left off before that I don't repeat myself, please? Um, comma 2001 talks about four guidelines, and you gave us the four guidelines. What was the last one I gave you? Danger. So it was deviance, dysfunction, distress, and danger. Okay. Um, I'm trying to... I didn't say anything else? That was where we had stopped. Um, unless somebody else is aware of anything else. Does anybody have any other notes to the contrary? Anybody has any other notes that that's, that's where we left off? That's, that's where we left, Dr. Man. Okay. Um, all right, let's look then at the, um, let's look very quickly at the developmental 
dimension. I don't know, remember we gave several models and I gave them to you. Let's look at the developmental dimension. That is, we're, 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 we're looking at and using these, uh, the, these um, models or, or dimensions to look at how we treat uh, child and adolescents. And I'm going to wrap up that aspect of it. Um, for this evening, and, I'm, and I want to the developmental dimension. Yes, please. Yeah. And as long as you can hear me, if you have questions, uh, just just wait until I I I I I'm done that I can stop and then ask if you need any questions to be answered. Okay. okay. So let's look at that. Let's look at the developmental dimension. Mm -hmm. the, 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 when we're looking at the when we, when we look in terms of this aspect or this model of treatment, it's a it's a treatment model. It's a treatment model. Yeah, we are going to be looking then at the developmental issues relating to the child. Age, we are looking primarily at the developmental issues as it relates to the child or adolescent. We are going to look at family structure. Age, Temperament, any, any um, perinatal, very perinatal or prenatal issues such as pregnancy. Perinatal. Perinatal and prenatal issues including pregnancy. Were there any developmental trauma? Was there any developmental trauma? any psychological or social influences with the child's development. Were there any, um, was there, I talked about trauma or were increase of teratogens. Was there any increase or presence of teratogens? T-E-R-A-T-O-G-E-N. Teratogens mean that, uh, means anything that is going to harm the child in, in, the, uh, in the stage of development, the fetus. The presence was the, was there the presence of teratogens that will impair the child's formative years. Medical history is important. We are looking at the. We are looking at any absence of any of a cause of any fevers. Fevers. Any cause of fever? No, we are looking at. We are looking at the causes. Or any any any. Or let, let me rephrase. Sorry, let me rephrase. Any types of fevers?
any debilitating medical uh, issues such as seizures. Debilitating seizures. Seizures. So medical problem, medical issues are very important in developmental aspect of, of treatment. You have to ask those questions. Other medical problems can be, did the child have any uh, fevers, as I said, fevers, seizures, or head injury? The developmental uh, stratum uh, has, uh, we talked about them before, but I'm going to repeat them again, some of them here. The developmental stratum has several, uh, are, are several features of it, and I'll talk about them very briefly. One, or A, whatever you prefer, is, is under that is precipitation. Precipitation, and by that I mean precipitation, I mean look for any psychosocial stressor, any physical problems that is at the, that, that uh, contributes to the onset of a psychological disturbance. Look for any physical or psychological stressor that contributes to the onset of a psychological disturbance. Some stressors in terms of precipitation are marital problems divo uh, or divorce, family dysfunction, Peer conflict, for physical symptoms, for physical illnesses, it could be problems with uh, cognitive decline in the child due to head injury. So the physical thing with a head injury? Yes, head injuries. Any, any genetic defect, those are physical mm -hmm. illnesses that can cause precipitation in the child. So there's a combination of, 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 uh, of physical problems and psychological stressors that can cause all this. The second A, B, under the same developmental the features are what is known as presentation. And what I mean is, why no? Why is the problem occurring at this time? Why is the problem occurring at this point in time? So in, 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 why, in asking why, you are determining if it is acute, that is, the problem is just beginning, few weeks, few months, or is the problem chronic? Few months, few years, the, the, and, the, and the family can't take it anymore. It's, it's really creating a problem. So why now? Why has the problem started at this time? What's feeding it? What are the underlying issues that are feeding? What are the underlying stressors that are feeding this? Why now? 
The third under that, continuing, is called patterns. Patterns. And this, this is measured by what is known as signs and symptoms. Let me repeat. On the patterns, this is measured in terms of what is known as signs and symptoms. So these signs and symptoms can represent the whole, what's happening to the child and the family dynamics now in the now. What's happening now? So symptoms are the child's behavior acting out. or the child's internalizing the problem. Symptoms are the child's externalizing or acting out or internalizing the stressors. Signs are what is observed and measured and quantified by the clinician. Signs are what's observed measured, quantified by the clinician. It usually has time of onset. It's governed by time of onset. That is, that period when the stressors start to affect functioning in the child. Time. Two weeks. Period a month. Dr. Mark? I didn't hear you. That is the time when um, the period when what? The period when the stress when the period time of onset is linked to a to a period when these the 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 um the stressors become uh the stressors are, are, are such that the child begins it begins to impact the child's function it's called time of onset time of onset okay thanks age of onset this is how we're going to look at the case hopefully we're going to get some time to do this tonight that's why i'm trying to get as quick as i can age of onset also is that is that chronological uh, time frame of a particular disorder. So, for example, uh, separation anxiety starts when? According to the DSM, separation anxiety starts at as early as age 5 in a child and ends up to age 12. That's age of onset. Age of onset. Important for you to under, in terms of cases. Duration of onset. How long? How long is this art is the problem occurring? How long is the problem occurring? How long is the problem occurring? The fourth, called perpetuation, on the, on the developmental uh, dimension. What are the underlying psychological intrapsychic features that keep the disorder going? What it is that keeping, is keeping the disorder going? 
what are the psychological issues that keeps this child's behavior or disorder going, keeps the child's anxiety, for example, the child's depression, the child's aggression going. What type of stressor is it? Is it severe enough in terms of Rutter's indicators? What type of stress it is? So we look at the severity of symptoms is important. Severity of symptoms. The worse, the, 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 the more acute the symptoms, the likely to go into chronicity. The more acute the symptoms, the likely to morph into chronicity. It also gives an idea of the the, the, the family dynamics, it gives an idea or it gives an overview, an idea of the type of family dynamics of a child. For example, types of family dynamics, types of family homeostasis. For example, parenting styles. Parenting styles, how they rear their ch children. Parenting styles. Also, it also gives an indication not only of parenting styles, but parenting functioning. Parenting functioning. And also the parental relationship with the child or adolescent. Parenting styles, parenting functioning, and the parental relationship with the child or teenager. Are there any questions? Any questions? Is it clear, everybody? Is it clear? Those watching on YouTube, is it clear? Any questions at this time? You can use the uh, the chat that I can see the chat. I can do, do uh, any questions at this time. Anybody on YouTube mics? Are there any questions? No, Doctor Mark. Is it clear as crystal or mud? <laughs> it's clear to me. I don't know about the others. I don't hear anybody are, responding. Are there any questions, everybody? Clear, Doctor Mark. Okay, so I'll continue. And so the fifth to the last is called prognosis. Prognosis. Prognosis is important for two, for two reasons. One, to predict outcome. To predict outcome of the child's behavior, to predict outcome of the child's behavior, two, to provide adequate treatment to restoring the child to, to optimal function, functioning, sorry. Dr. Mark. Yes. Prognosis is a heading in and of itself? It's part of that developmental uh, dimension. Oh. Okay. So you're listing that, it's, 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 Yeah, I am. But I'm going to talk more about prognosis later on, but I'm just listening on this for now. All right. So it, 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 it helps to predict, in other words, 
you are asked the question when you as a part of your of of treatment. In other words, is that part of what is known as a clinical interview? It's a formal, uh, it's a formal, um, comprehensive uh, diagnostic categorization of of the child's presenting problem. That's what prognosis is. So you are able to make where, where so prognosis helps you to make inferences about a certain category. You make inferences about a certain category or cluster of behaviors that you label. You make inferences about certain cluster or categories of behavior that you are labeling with a diagnosis, a diagnosis. And so prognosis is, is linked to future treatment planning. Prognosis is linked to future treatment planning. And so you ask, it's how, how am I going to treat, what am I, how and what am I treating? Is this treatable? Is this resolvable? So what, how am I going to, how am I going to quantify, once I quantify this behavior in terms of a diagnosis, what approach will I use to treat it? So prognosis will also lead to what is known as a treatment plan and a treatment intervention. It will lead to a treatment plan and treatment in intervention. The last under the dimension I'm going to give you is, is, called, is called potentials. You are looking basically at the strengths and weaknesses of this, of this patient or client. You are looking at strengths, or you are assessing rather, strengths and weaknesses of the patient or client. It's part of the diagnostic formulation or case conceptualization method. It is part, really, of diagnostic formulation and the case conceptualization method. And let me just say this briefly, because I'm going to do it much more in depth later on, but the, the case conceptualization method is really a comprehensive system. It's a comprehensive system of providing, it provides a means to assess, diagnose, and treat the client. To assess, diagnose, and treat the client, and then to terminate to assess, diagnose, treat the client, and then to terminate. Are there any questions?